Welcome, we're out and about. We're at the 2016 Gentlemen's Expo. I'm sitting here right now with a celebrity chef from Down Under, Mike Ward. Thank you for your time there, Mike. You're so welcome. You know, we were talking before, right before the interview, um, you know, in 2000, you started doing the writing, the producing, yeah. the, the editing. I mean, you did everything in regards to TV shows, award-winning ones. Oh, you're They're involved it. in cooking yeah. and involved lifestyle. 120 nations it's available in. I didn't know that. Well, I have a childlike attention span, so I started the first, my first career was cooking for 10 years. I came out of school, cooked in, in, in I, was, I was actually rather honored. I was cooking in some tremendous restaurants. But then, like a lot of chefs do, it's a crappy business. You know, it's, it, it, there, there's, there's this whole kind of perception about celebrity chefism, is that a word, nowadays. But the fact is, is that it's six nights a week, it's long hours, there's so many challenges. I mean, there's, it's so hard to make money in that world. But I never stopped loving cooking. So what I did is I, I essentially walked away from it and I went into television for many years. And the last couple of years I've come back to combining my two passions, which is creating content and food. But the idea of actually going into a restaurant and cooking, you know, it's the repetitiveness that bugged me. The idea that you develop a recipe, you execute those recipes for three months, six months, and then you do it again. That's what I can't stand. I, I just want to wake up and cook something new every day. So I realized that not working in a restaurant works for me. Some of the celebrity uh, cooks that you actually, some of the celebrities that you cook for, we're talking Julia Roberts, uh, Tom Cruise, and you know, and the list goes on. So you've been around some pretty amazing people. You're the former editor in chief in regards to the Canada Living magazine. Yeah. You now write for the Globe and Mail, you write for the Toronto Star, the yeah. 24 Hours, and the list goes on. Yeah. I, I think what I enjoy is talking about food. I like talking about food as much as I like making food because back when I was a young budding chef, there was no such thing as food media. There was Julia Childs and there was Emeril Lagasse. So the, if you wanted to, to if you got excited about a recipe or a food movement or a way of eating, there was really no outlet for you. But nowadays, the world's your oyster. You know, obviously with social media and traditional media, you can, you know, you can find an audience that's resonating with you and you come to feed off that audience. You know what I mean? And that makes you more passionate about what you do. So I have a, I have a pretty distinctive philosophy about the way I like to cook, about the way I like to eat. And uh, I couldn't have done that 15 years ago. Your YouTube channel right now, I know you four million viewers you just surpassed. I know, not say. So. Four million people out there have sat there and watched something that I've cooked. I don't, it's, it's odd, it's bizarre. It's, it's, this is, you know, I mean, it's like, it, you, it makes you stop and pause because I don't, you know, I've never had a television show. But the idea that four million people have engaged in what you've done is kind of cool. And what's what's really interesting, I mean, that number is all very glamorous, but the feedback that you get um, is cool. It's it's so it's so it's so rewarding when somebody sends you a picture of something that you've created and said, "Oh, look, Mike, I gave it a shot. I tried it." You know, and it, it, it's almost like they're looking for your opinion, your perspective, and normally they look amazing, and they'll offer suggestions on what they've done or how they've adapted the recipe. But you realize that these are people that I've never ever met without owning a restaurant that are engaging in the way you like to cook. It never gets bored. Do you want to quickly give the YouTube channel so people can go check it out? Yeah, it's uh, my uh, URL of my channel is youtube.com slash Chef Mike Ward. And uh, my philosophy on food is, is I'm not vegan, not vegetarian, not pescatarian, but it tends to be a little on the cleaner side. I'm not an advocate of massive amounts of bacon or sugar or salt. I like to use whole foods generally. Um, I just like to use, you know, real ingredients with kind of curious and odd combinations to make hopefully what people will think is great food. Do you have any other exciting announcements to make in regards to some upcoming projects? I know that you're involved with Mike Holmes you're too. You're good. Well, I, during my, yeah, I mean, I directed uh, the last two series of Mike Holmes, um, which is fun back in my television days. Uh, I directed the last series of Alan Thicke's sitcom out of the States, which was fun. Um, 
but all of this has been an interesting journey in terms of just creating content. And it's now so much fun to turn that energy onto what was, what is my true passion, which is food, but, uh, but to find a way to essentially make a living, but not cooking restaurants. So, uh, yeah, I mean, there's some things coming up. There's a cookbook, you know, that's, uh, that's imminent, although it takes a long time to produce and print. Um, I'm just doing what I'm doing, you know, as, as long as tonight was a terrific example, as long as people are engaged in what you're doing and they're, they're passionate about food, that's, that's the most I can hope for. I want to thank you for your time there, Mike. Oh goodness, this is so much fun. Next time we're going to do an interview on you because you're the most interesting character I've met in a long time. Hey, I, I'm just basically out there trying to live my dream. Good. Well, this is a lot of fun. Thank you. Thank you.